Hey everyone, I know guys that there's news spiraling around YouTube lately. I know you guys are kind of worried but actually there's good news that sheds the light to the darkness that we are all experiencing right now. All this and more on this episode. Hey guys, my name is Nold and welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. On this episode, let's talk about the new terms of services that YouTube will be dating on December 10, 2019 and other stuff that is spiraling around the internet that is not entirely true. But before we dive into the episode guys, I gotta say that I am not a lawyer so anything that I say on this episode is not considered as legal advice. If you need more clarification on the terms of service of YouTube, I suggest that you guys consult a lawyer. Okay, so that's out of the way. Please guys like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Now on to the episode of Freedom News. Guys, to give you a bit of background on today's topic, so YouTube had a settlement with the FTC or the Federal Trade Commission in the US. The FTC has enacted a law popularly known as COPA or the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act that restricts YouTube from gathering information of children ages 12 and below. Out of this agreement, YouTube promised that they will follow this law so they implemented a system where they can implore the help of us content creators. Last September, YouTube added a feature that will help them end you flag your videos and channel as appropriate for kids' content or not. Sounds so easy, right? Let me give you a rundown of what's gonna happen. So number one is some of your features will be disabled like number one, comments, number two, personalized ads, number three, info cards, and number four are end screens. Number two is your viewers will not be able to see your stories tab. Number three is you will not be able to gain your community tab. Number four is you won't be able to use the notification bell. Number five is your viewers will not be able to save to watch later or save the playlist. So that's the issue spiraling before that can give some light onto why everybody is talking about COPA and the FTC's fines, which can go up to $40,530 for each violation. That's for each video. Based on that, everybody's being super cautious and now have focus on YouTube's new terms of services which are not new, but an updated version of them. Basically, it's just our wording. We will only spotlight the necessary bits that we deem that is very important for us content creators. Okay, so number one, let's talk about the termination and suspension. It says here, guys, YouTube may suspend or terminate your access, your Google account, or your Google account's access to all parts of the service if number one is you materially or repeatedly breach this agreement. We are required to do so to comply with a legal requirement or a court order would compromise an investigation or the integrity or operation of the service. We reasonably believe that there has been conduct that creates liability or harm to any user, other third party, YouTube, or our affiliates. So the next one that I'm gonna share is actually one of the reasons why people are very worried and very riled up of the new terms of service. Here it goes. YouTube may terminate your access or your Google account's access to all part of the service if YouTube reasonably believes that its provision of the service to you is no longer commercially viable. Yeah, that's kinda harsh, don't you think? Creators all over the internet have been interpreting this clause as channel termination. But that is not correct. Fortunately guys, YouTube has replied to this comment and YouTube said this on Twitter. This section of our terms that you're referring to is not about terminating an account if it's not making enough money. It's about discontinuing certain YouTube features or parts of the service. Example, removing outdated low usage features. This does not impact anyone in new ways. So guys, we can relax a bit and calm down. So guys, have you read the new terms of service that YouTube will be mandating on December 10, 2019? And what provisions there do you think limits us content creators? Let us know down below. Also, please share this video to a friend who has misinterpreted that line so that they can relax and also they can get clarity of what's happening around the YouTube. Before you leave guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold, guys, and anything that you need to know about YouTube, always remember this episode, Freedom News. I'm going to be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.